everybody. We're back with a brand new video here. And before we get started, um, I guess some people might consider the topic, the subject matter of this video touchy. But <clears throat> let it be said here on this channel, we're going to report the news and say the things that need to be said regardless of feathers that may be ruffled. So, with that being said, that's the closest thing that I will ever give to a quote-unquote trigger warning on any video I ever uh, make. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way, and if some funny style happens with the video, do not, don't despair. It'll be up on, on, our, on our website where we have free reign and full control, just in case. But at any rate, proceeding Right along. The gentleman you see on the screen is none other than Kyrie Irving. Now, the Mavericks played uh, against the Utah Jazz out in Utah, I believe it was uh, last week. And uh, <clears throat> whoever won, which I didn't even look at the box score, it's kind of uh, irrelevant to this story. Because although Kyrie is somewhat the subject of the story, I guess you could say, he is not the main character. That would be, uh, at least in part, these gentlemen here um, and the one in the black shirt on your right <clears throat> with the, the Nike pullover there. I want to make sure I get his name right. He's the, the ringleader of this circus, if you will. His name is, I want to make sure I pronounce it, Avrimi Zappel. Now, Mr. Zappel is uh, one of... Four rabbis, these four gentlemen pictured here are four rabbis. So let's let, let, let me tell you what happened. So they got courtside seats at the at the uh, the Mavericks Jazz games and they held up the signs that you see them holding in the picture, which says, <clears throat> I am a I'm a Jew and I'm proud. Now, right on, rock on, nothing wrong with that. Now, why you might ask, well, that why would they do that? Because if you recall, last year, Kyrie Irving made the NBA and the Jewish community upset when he posted uh, the link to uh, that to the movie Hebrew. I can't talk right now. Uh, he boy, <laughs> tongue tied. Uh, Hebrew. Good Lord. So I had to go drink some water. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't I couldn't talk right there for some reason. I kept getting tongue tied. But anyway, um he posted the link to um the movie Hebrews. I still feel like I can't I'm not saying it. Hebrews to Negroes. And so this movie was was uh cast as anti Semitic and all of these things and um I'm not gonna go into all that. Um I covered it. In, a, in an article on our website, which the link to which I'll leave in the description of this video if you want to go back and rehash that. So, <clears throat> at any rate, so they had these signs and apparently there was uh, some sort of uh, interaction with Kyrie and the, the gentleman, which um, he told him that, you know, they didn't need to bring that there and all of these... Uh, so on and so forth. So what ended up happening is, is that apparently uh, Jazz Security ended up telling these cats that they couldn't have the signs, all right? And they were made to put said signs away. And so um, they had to put the signs away. And Avrimi, Avrimi, um, if I am, because I do, if I'm butchering the name, my, my apologies, but Avrimi, um, was not happy, and <clears throat> afterwards, he took to Instagram, and we've got one of the screenshots there, <clears throat> where he's kind of going into it, and he said that Kyrie Irving had, and I quote, the spine of a jellyfish, <clears throat> and, and in addition to calling him a coward. Then, he goes on and, and uh, you know, shakes his finger at the Utah Jazz and and says that he was disappointed in the Jazz um, and that <clears throat> he was just upset because they made him put 
down this sign. And <clears throat> I'm going to head and, and get into this because I don't want to belabor this point um, too long. But the thing about it is this. You knew you went you went to this game because first of all, court anybody who's ever been to an NBA game can take courtside seats are hella expensive. Even for the stinky teams. Um, those aren't cheap. And one of the articles it talks about how they I'm not gonna use the word conspired, but they basically planned out to to obtain these courtside seats specifically for this game to hold up these signs. So you went into this situation planning to hold up these signs. I don't know. Uh, well, he said to send a message to Kyrie Irving. My, what what message was were you trying to send exactly is my question. And <clears throat> so you, send, you, you sit there with these signs. You wanted some attention. Um, and you got it. And now you're upset about it. Now, Kyrie says that he... Didn't he was not the impetus of them getting kicked out of the game? He did not go to the Utah Jazz the security and tell them to to remove the signs. That's what that's what he's saying. Um, he's saying he didn't have anything to do with it. But uh, our Remy does not feel that way. But here's my question: <clears throat> That the first thing I thought of, because I, I I initially I was like, well, have they done this at other games? Um, he says he's a jazz fan, and from what I saw, it looks like he lives in Utah. There's no evidence of him doing this in any other game, so that tells me you specifically brought these signs and, and got with these other guys who were apparently your brothers and your father um, in order to do this uh, to kind of picket this brother. It's, that's what it, it sounds like because <clears throat> there could be no other reason. There was a similar situation, I think, in 2022, um, when they, they, uh, gosh, I forget what game it was, but he was still with the Nets and some guys wore some t-shirts and one it said something like not anti-Semitic or I'm Semitic or something, uh, along those lines, but it was, it was something similar. And <clears throat> I just find it rather interesting that they, they decided to do this at this game, um, to do this to try to get some attention and well you got it and you kind of didn't like it but I, my question is this if you wanted to send a message why aren't you why why aren't you going to sit outside the home offices of Amazon because as of the sound of my voice as the making of this video the <clears throat> it's still on sale on their website so you are mad at the person who posted to link to this film that you say is is so ab abhorrent, but you're not mad at the the company that continues to sell it. Not only continues to sell it, but said they wasn't gonna stop selling it. You're not upset with the NBA who was looking at going in business with this company who has said uh, who was still continuing to said said film that you signed that you said was so uh, abhorrent. Matter of fact, not only are you apparently okay with it, but by um, uh, uh, buying these seats and continuing to, to go and watch the games, you are patronizing um, business, a, an entity that is in bed with a business that is clearly uh, engaged in selling a product that you say is abhorrent, but you're not protesting the NBA. You're not protesting... Amazon, you want to put Kyrie Irving right in the crosshairs. See, this is <clears throat> this is the type of selective outrage, um, and I get into it more or less in my in the piece, link to which will be in the description. But I just found that really interesting as I as I read through the various articles, um, which some of them uh, obviously telling the truth was not there their main aim. But I just I just found it really, really interesting that <clears throat> that they decided to do this. So I'm curious, um, Mr. Longtime Jazz fan, um when when is this NBA protest coming? And when are you going to protest Amazon? Just just asking for a friend, that's all. 
But what do you think uh, about this instance? Because, like I said, I came, I actually came across not, um, <clears throat> not Rabbi, the, not Rabbi, uh, well, he's a rabbi, but Arv, Arv Remy, uh, I didn't come across the post from his Instagram, actually, well, I came across the story on Instagram, and I started looking into it um, a couple days ago, um, and it seems like it hasn't been really reported that much. There were some local stories on it, you know, I think TMZ, it might have been TMZ or somebody else, um, a couple other outlets um, covered it, but I didn't really see a lot of uh, attention on that. It could be a good thing and a bad thing. Um, so I'm just wondering. And I'm also wondering, I'd like to ask, you know, when when the, the Oklahoma City Thunder come to the town, are you planning on holding up a signs that, that talk about protecting uh, children and underage girls from Josh Giddy? I mean, you know, if you want to send a message, you know, that would be a great message to send as well. But <clears throat> I'll leave that there. So what do you think of this story for some of you? I know it may be the first time that you're hearing about this. Um, so what do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section. As always, we'll be back with more videos real soon. Um, take care. And as always, tell the ones that you love that you love them. Peace.